got the blazer on, you know what that means. Time for another makeup brush review. I'm Kendra Morgan Official and I put out content weekly centered around makeup brushes that aren't Morphe, sunscreen, and single eyeshadow. So if you like that kind of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below for future content like this in the future. Today we're reviewing the Makeup Geek Face Brushes. It's the Face Buffer Brush and whatever else she calls the other one. I didn't think I was gonna pick these up because, whoa, 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 whoa. I want the best possible audio I can. I didn't think I was gonna pick these up because $17.99 looking like a Morphe brush, not my cup of tea, right? But then they had a nice fall sale for a week and these brushes went on sale for $8. So I went ahead and picked them up. Couldn't resist. I thought for $16, I can give you a brush review. I can definitely give you a brush review and that's just what we're gonna do. So stay tuned if you guys wanna see how this applies, a review demonstration and comparisons to the previous Makeup Geek brushes stick around. Previously Makeup Geek used to have these brushes over here. They are wonderful, wonderful brushes. I rave about them all the time. Highly recommend those brushes. My hair, my hair, my hair. Anyways, not a hair channel. Don't have to worry about it. Um, and then she rebranded and now has released these two face brushes. I'm currently awaiting the eye makeup brush set. That hasn't arrived yet, but that's okay. Uh, so I'll review these and I'll compare them. If you haven't already watched my brush classification video, I'm gonna go ahead and link that for you in the eye. So go check that out. I'm really slow in there. I'm just getting on my feet, but I put through my little noggin this idea of brushes need to be compared to brushes within their own category. So these are 2A brushes. So if you don't know what that means, just go ahead and check out that video up above in the eye cards for you. Let's get started. This um, face buffer brush and the, I think it's the face blender brush. I don't know what she calls it. Angled stippling brush and then the face buffer brush. I think she still calls them the same thing. Foundation stippling brush, um, you know. Do you like my ASMR? Would you care for some ASMR brushes? I've always wanted to do that, but I thought, mm, let's not give the people what they don't want. Okay, this is the Face Buffer Brush, and she relaunched it with um, a new kind of like an overhaul. Here it is. Very, very nice. Um, the br As far as the bristles go, <laughs> this is very, like flexible. I could almost use it as a target powdering brush and a bronzer brush. I know I told you in my uh, video like one year later and I'll go ahead and link that for you guys up here in the eye cards as well. You can go check that out just to see how I feel one year later about using the same brushes that I reviewed on my channel that I'd only use for like a week or so. Um, Sometimes many of them I use for months before I ever reviewed them. But this brush right here is just quite a bit more flimsy, and this one is quite a bit more stiff. Upon application of my foundation, I found it to be extremely, extremely easy to apply, and it's very dense, so I think it ate up a lot of my foundation. I'm not really sure because I use the Makeup Geek brushes quite frequently, and I never seem to have a problem spreading the foundation around, but in this, in this instance, when I would put the makeup or the foundation on my face, it kind of felt dry. Like I wasn't really rubbing much foundation around. So something was eating it up perhaps. We are in the Midwest here, um, you know, Western hemisphere. So we're going into the winter months. So maybe it's just that my skin is drier and it's just, you know, it's a little rougher to put stuff on. But in that, in that instance, I did notice that this brush right here seems to eat up a little bit of foundation. Other than that, the look and feel of it is very nice. This is a very weighty brush and I do have to retract my statement, although it did kind of like, not appeal to me with this rubberized grippy thing right here and this just metal handle with kind of a squared off bottom. I do actually like it. It is very sleek. It's pretty weighty. I'm going to say that it's quite a bit more weighty than the original Makeup Geek brushes. So if you are looking for a brush that is not very heavy, this is probably not your best bet. Um, the other brush, it is 
this one, and they don't give you the labels or anything like that. The only thing that they do is they do label Makeup Geek on the very far back end of the ferrule. You guys know how I feel about labeling logos and labeling the brushes and stuff like that. Always, I want to see them up here because if I'm doing a tutorial, tutorial or anything like that, I want people to be able to see it in case I don't label or link that brush, which happens like probably 53% of the time. Uh, this brush right here is its predecessor. What is that noise? Oh, it's the furnace. Okay. Must be getting kind of cold out. Okay. So this brush right here, if you can see, it's quite a bit more densely packed. It's a lot bigger and it, it did an excellent job on applying my bronzer. I am using the Soul Body Bronzer by ColourPop have no issues dipping my brush in the pan. Now, if I was using my RMS, which let me just show you for reference sake here. If I was using my RMS uh, palette, it would not go in there very nicely at all. See how much, it would take up literally two pans and it would be hard to get in there and dip around. So just to let you know, it's fairly big. It's fairly weighty, but I do like the way it just kind of stamps on and it doesn't take much effort to get the product on your face. I don't have to do too much blending. The brush does kind of blend itself out. And I think it's because of the density. So let's talk about the three class. Ow. Oh, that one hurt. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Just dabbed it right into my and not only is my knee hurting but now my finger is too my goodness it's rough life out here anyways let's talk about the price with respect to quality so quality is excellent I'm guessing that this is like one steel steel one piece of metal and then this is just a galvanized piece of rubber it's not galvanized whatever anyways you get the point there's a piece of rubber right here that is used to be for gripping. I don't like to get that choked up on my brushes. I just kind of hang out back here and I just tap, 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 tap. It kind of lends more to a, you know, beautiful, more airbrushed, more, well, where is the brush going to land? Is it going to land on my chin or is it going to land on my cheek? I just love to live like that. Love to live on the edge like that. Not really. I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not so choked up on my brushes usually up here like this. I'm kind of back here most of the time blending all that stuff now if i'm gonna contour my nose yeah i'll probably step it up and i'll just you know grab it up here but that's neither here nor there they are 17.99 currently i bought them when they were eight dollars i would definitely pay more than eight dollars for a brush like this it's got a sleek beautiful design looks like stainless steel not a hundred percent loving the bristles I like a more you know a synthetic bristle that kind of mimics a natural hair look and also I would prefer it be the other way around where the bristles are lighter and the top is brown just because it hides your powders and your bronzers and stuff like that I, I don't know that's just who I am I, I, this way it, the brushes will get washed more often Okay, the brushes will get washed more often because look, it's stark white. Well, it's supposed to be. I I used them today because I really enjoy them and um, I had to wash them off and this is about as good as I could get. So they're very densely packed, meaning when you try to clean them with a brush cloth, you know, like so I use this guy right here and I, I use my favorite brush spray, whatever's on my table, and I spray it on here and do this little ring-a-ding thing and clean this puppy just to spot clean it's hard to get all of the makeup out it is very densely packed and i'm rubbing and scrubbing and i got a cramp in my finger so these are really good quality brushes i have to say makeup geek has stepped up their game although i'm not like i'm not 100 percent sold on the aesthetics of it Marlena Stell used a Makeup Geek brush that looked kind of like this, except it was like a rose gold, and then this was like a purple 
fading into a black, which kind of reminded me of like a Sonia G brush. So then immediately I thought, ooh, high quality, must pay a good amount of money. But this just doesn't speak that to me. This, I don't like the kind of bristles that they put on there, but it's purely just aesthetics purposes. It does not interfere with the um, actual, you know, brush, the brush performance. So um, if you watch that video and you came back here, there's quality with respect to pricing. There's the, um, a bunch of other stuff. I should probably watch my own video back because I don't remember. These are going to be a recommend though. $17.99 is a very fair price. And if you use code Kendra Morgan official, you'll save 10% off. And that is definitely a price worth paying for a brush like this. I don't think you will find too many brushes out there that don't boast this type of quality at that price point. You know, under $20 for a face brush, that's really, really good. There's, there's no denying that most people would spend anywhere from $20 to $40 on a good, even synthetic blending brush or face brush. With that said, I really just have to give my hat off again to Makeup Geek. They did step it up, even though in the beginning I didn't really see it as what I wanted. Now I see it as what I want. <laughs> I really enjoy these brushes. I got them for $8 on the sale, like I've already mentioned. So for me, this was like a steal. I should have grabbed some extras and done a giveaway or something like that, but I just didn't think about it. Um, yeah, Makeup Geek needs to continue on and just go ahead and push out a highlighter brush. Um, the rest of the face brush, you know, so they put out these two right here. They also need to do the foundation stippling brush, which is this one right here, and continue on down the road. So Makeup Geek, if you're watching, release the brushes. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. What do you guys think about the new... Uh, aesthetics of the Makeup Geek brushes. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do they kind of remind you of Morphe brushes for some reason, even though we've never seen a Morphe brush look that looks like that? Actually, the Y series of Morphe brushes looked like that, but they were golden and they didn't have that black thing on them. That's just what they remind me of. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you'll choose to subscribe to my channel if you found this content helpful for you in the future. Can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.